Go on. Hi guys, what's popping? Welcome to my YouTube channel. So I am in Yaoundé, Cameroon. So I am here um, as a tourist. It's actually my homeland. Uh, so originally I'm from Cameroon, um, but not Yaoundé, Southwest. Um, I'm from Tiko originally. So um, right now I am in the apartment in Yaoundé where I live. So this video is going to be about like the life in Yaoundé, the living costs, high expensivities as a tourist to live in Yaoundé and everything. So come up, I'm just going to show you my apartment first of all and I'll tell you how much it costs. Let's go guys. We have a fridge as well. This is quite massive. So now we are going to the living room. Oh, this is uh, a two-bedroom apartment, and it costs forty thousand a night, which is uh, forty thousand should be fifty pounds. So come. On. Um, this is the living room. We have TV and everything, so it's quite massive. And the dining um, can fit six people, and if you need extra chairs, you can get those rooms there. Um, this is quite affordable, guys, um, compared to other places. Um, they're more nicer places, and more expensive. So if you come with me, we do have a balcony here. Yeah? The view is not all that. Yeah. This is the balcony. That's the view. This is the view. It's quite a busy street, guys. You hear the noise. Quite a loud place. Okay, we're going back to the living room. From the living room, we're gonna go to the first uh, bathroom because this is a two bedroom. One of the bedroom is an ensuite which has a bathroom in it. So let's go to the ensuite room first. This is the ensuite room, kind of the master bedroom, you call it. Voila. Beds are quite massive and big, you know. <sighs> yeah, very comfortable, guys. You have the drawers, the both sides, and then you have a mirror like for my makeup. This is one of the things that I really like the most, because this is like the mirror of makeup. But the other thing missing is the chair. Like there's been a, this is not spacious. The room, the problem with this place is the rooms are not um, spacious enough. So this is the bathroom, guys. Um, the bathroom, like it's just basic. Um, here you have a bucket. Welcome to Africa, where the, where the water can just cease at any time. So you have a bucket in case there's no water. It does happen, guys. It happened to me two days ago. The whole day we didn't have water here. Yeah? And when it happens like that, you have to have like a spare water in the bucket like this, where you can shower with. That's Africa for us, guys. Um, sometimes the light as well. The sister light, and then we just with our light. So let's go to the second um, bedroom. So this is the second bedroom with no toilet because this is just like basic. Yeah, this is quite cute. All of them come like they have like the uh, wardrobes attached to the wall. Really nice, spacious, enough space and everything. So guys, yeah, that's it. Um, this is the, the second bathroom. Um, same thing as the other one. Same thing, it has a bucket like this. is what I was talking about, guys. 
in case they see um, the water, the water stop coming, you have to have a spare uh, water in the bucket like this. And just so you know, the water in Yamunde is really bad, like the color, something like yellow, yellowish kind of color. I don't like it. It does give me like lashes on the face. So. So guys, I just showed you guys my apartment. This apartment was 40,000 CFA, which is 55 pound to be precise per night. So you can get a cheaper place, obviously. You can get a more expensive place, depending on your budget. And also, um, in terms of taxi, like transportation, you can either use a bike, which is risky, or you use a taxi. Um, Why? Well, actually, I have someone that drives me around, and I have like people that drive, so I don't need a taxi. But today, when we went out to look at the touristic areas, um, I did use a taxi and it was 3,000 francs per hour which is four pounds per hour so I booked the guy for four hours which is 12,000 francs but I gave him 15 so um, uh, in terms of like um, like the food and everything I actually you can actually spend a pound 50 to eat a breakfast, breakfast or lunch, like it's quite cheap for us to comp like to compare to people in the UK. It will be cheap for us, but people living here, it's quite it's expensive for them because first of all, there are no jobs, they don't get paid properly, and then you have you know people with a lot of people like a lot of people here are suffering and the, the poverty rate is quite high. But for someone like me from the UK, I uh, consider it quite cheap to spend a pound. 50 for lunch or dinner so guys um talking about the nightlife um yeah yeah in cameroon you can clock 24 hours a day <laughs> so as much as you want like you can do the whole day everything so the drinks in terms of it depends where you go honestly because they're really posh places and they're quite expensive where you can you don't and a drink is minimum 50,000, you know, those are expensive places that not everyone can get there. Uh, 50,000, that's like um, 80 pound. And then you have like places like bars, snacks, where you can get a drink for 1,500, 1,500, that's between two and three pound for a bottle of beer or a bottle of soft drinks. So like I said, it's just all about your pocket and what you can afford. And that's it because like you have you can even have a drink there are drinks here that cost five hundred thousand that's about eight hundred pounds it's all about your budget and what you can afford and yeah these people can clock two for seven like they have energy they have time and they can drink when they say drink like they can drink lots of alcohol so that's it guys um that's it for this video um the living cost and the lifestyle in um yeah one day so that's it i'm gonna see you guys in my next video which is gonna be the difference between cameroon and the uk i'll catch you don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys like and share this video bye